a legal battle in the Supreme Court forced Wisconsin to hold in-person voting today. That legal challenge was led in part by Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. Our Adriana Mendez caught up with him in Burlington where he was working the polls. Each of the poll workers here are wearing PPE that includes gloves, masks, and a face shield. They're also having their temperature taken before they enter into the building to make sure they don't exhibit any signs of coronavirus. A steady stream of cars entering into the Department of Public Works building in Burlington. Each driver here is ready to cast their vote. They push their ID up against the window, and a worker brings over a ballot. What we've seen is a lot of patience from our citizens of Racine County, which we appreciate and also just really the new heroes, which are polling place um, individuals who are working here. Among the volunteers staffing this polling place is Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. He arrived around 6.15 in the morning to work as an election inspector. People have been in pretty good spirits, happy to be able to vote, and at the same time uh, doing it in a way that's really safe. It's a smooth process here, but in some cities, that's not the case. In parts of Milwaukee, people waited two hours to cast their ballot. Do you feel people are having to compromise their health and safety for due process? A month ago, when we talked about this with the legislative leaders and Governor Evers, we all agreed unanimously, both parties, the election should happen. I think that the idea of saying that somehow postponing the election would make it safer, we have no data whatsoever to support that. And when Governor Evers said that early in his press conferences, I was 100 percent in agreement because we don't know if it'll be safer in May or June. Despite long lines in Milwaukee, Speaker Voss believes the process across the state is going smoothly. I am very confident that people are going to look back at this election and say that while it wasn't as easy as a normal election was, it went off as well as it possibly could, knowing the challenges that we have with the virus. Reporting in Burlington, Adriana Mendez, TMJ4 News.